Today, I'm going to show you how to make Korean curry rice called karepap. And I'm going to share all my tips and tricks in making this instant curry taste less instant-like. Oh wait, you never had Korean curry rice before? Well, let me show you how to make this because you definitely do not want to miss out on having this delicious Korean curry rice. 오늘의 레시피 아주 간단하고 맛있는 카레 라이스 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. That is delicious. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. Here are the ingredients that we need to make our curry rice. Half of a large onion, about 180 grams. I want you to cut the onion down the middle and then this way and we're going to cut them into big chunks. Like so. One large potato, about 180 grams. And our potato, we're going to cut it down the middle and then I want you to cut them into big chunks too. One, two. One carrot, about 100 grams. And our carrot, big chunks. So I cut it and I turn it, cut it the other way, turn it like that. And one more time. Chicken breast cut into big chunks, about 225 grams. Make sure you cut them really big. Now you could also use beef or pork or shrimp or scallop, whatever you like. So that our chicken, onion, carrot, and potatoes are roughly similar in size and width. For our chicken, we're gonna lightly season with some black pepper. We're gonna add one and two pinches of garlic powder and some salt. We're gonna add one and two pinches of salt. And then we're just gonna mix it so that our seasoning is nicely distributed on our chicken breast. One small tomato, about 130 grams. And our tomato, just hollow out the bottom like that and cut it down the middle and just roughly chop it. Now for the tomatoes, if you happen to have a tomato that's like extra soft and extra ripe, use that, that would be even better. Like that. And we need one scallion, finely minced. half a tablespoon of chinganjang. If you don't have chinganjang, any all-purpose soy sauce will do. And our star ingredient, Korean curry paste. And we need two of these packets. Each one is one serving size. And I'm using the mild one, sunan mat. It comes in mild, medium, and spicy. Spicy is very spicy. Now make sure to have all the ingredients prepped, including three cups of hot water, because we're gonna make our curry rice quickly. Set your stove heat to high and preheat your large skillet for about a minute to two minutes. Once the saute pan is preheated, I want you to add a generous amount of oil, about a tablespoon of oil. Swirl it around to evenly distribute our oil. Then quickly, we're going to add our chicken. Then our potatoes. Then we're gonna take some salt and season our potatoes a little bit. Now your heat remains at high and I want you to leave the chicken and the potatoes alone for a good minute. Do not touch it, do not lift it, just leave it alone. All right, so it's been a good minute and we're just gonna take a peek. So this is how we want our chicken to have. Look, just a light golden sear on our chicken breast, just on one side. And the same thing for our potato. Wow, look at that. Now mix all this up, and quickly we're gonna add our tomato. And I want you to just stir fry this again, still on high heat for 30 seconds. And don't worry about this burned brown stuff on the bottom, that's gonna add to the taste of our curry. It's gonna make it taste extra, extra yummy. To this, we're gonna add our onions. And I'm gonna add a generous pinch of salt to our onions. And quickly, just mix up everything together for another good 30 seconds. Your heat remains at high. So I want you to see how our brown stain on the bottom of our pan is completely gone now because the tomato melted and kind of mopped it all up. Just keep an eye on it and just scrape the bottom 
as you stir fry the onions. And quickly, we're gonna add three cups of hot water. I love that sound. Two and three. Then we're gonna add our carrots. Again, scrape the bottom of the pan, going back and forth like that. And our two little serving size of the curry paste. We're just gonna flip it and then drop it in the center. That second one. And just make sure it's fully submerged under the liquid and just leave it alone for about a good 30 seconds. Okay, so 30 seconds later, go in the middle to mix up our curry paste. Because the last thing you wanna do is have clumps of it, so your heat is still remaining at high, okay? Keep on turning, make sure the paste is all dissolved, and then I want you to continue to scrape the bottom of your pan like that. Oh, it smells so good in my kitchen right now. To this, we're gonna add our half tablespoon of soy sauce. Mix it again, beautiful. Now we're gonna add our lid and we're gonna lower our heat to low. And we're gonna let this cook on low heat for about a good seven to eight minutes or until the potato is done. And seven minutes later, ooh la la, it looks like that. So how do you know it's done? You take your potato and it should go in soft like that. It's done. Our optional ingredient, this is heavy cream. If you add this, you're gonna take your curry rice to another level. So I'm gonna add one and two tablespoons of heavy cream and then just mix it and scrape the bottom of your pan gently and look at that. Oh boy, does that look good or does that look good? So I like to make my curry a little bit less thick when I use these instant curry mixes because when you make it so thick, it tastes so instant-like. This looks really good. All right, so let's have a quick taste test. Mm. Oh, that is so creamy and oh, so yummy. This all mixed up together with warm Korean rice. Oh boy, that is your Korean curry rice food heaven right there. And then we're just gonna garnish with some minced scallions like that and your curry rice is ready. I have been drooling in my mouth while filming this today. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I wanna show you why I wanted you to cut the potatoes really thick and big so that you could cut it wide open. I mean, look at this potato. It's gonna be so cushiony and delicious in your mouth when you pick it up like that. I mean, can you taste that in your mouth? So, so good. And I also wanna show you why adding big chunks of onions is so good like that. It's still crunchy and it's sweet. Oh, this is so good together with curry. <sniffs> Yummy. And then the best part is when the rice is completely drenched in the curry sauce. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, Korean curry rice is so good. <laughs> I love it. So here is a perfect bite for you. Loaded with our sweet onions and chicken and carrot and potatoes drenched in our curry sauce and Korean rice. Oh, amazing, amazing. Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. That is delicious. The potato is like, it's just so soft and it melts in your mouth. And then the onions are like sweet, but loaded with the curry taste. And the chicken is so good and moist and carrots as another layer of sweetness. Oh, so good, so good. And there's only one other topping that would make this bite extra, extra good, which would be a piece of kimchi on top like that. <gasps> yeah, you gotta have kimchi when you have Korean curry rice. It's, it's just a must. Now, when it comes to having Korean curry rice, you must, 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 must have it with Korean rice. It cannot be jasmine or basmati rice or other Asian rice, okay? So if you wanna learn how to make Korean rice, make sure to check out this video you see right here. Tips and tricks to make delicious and moist Korean rice at home using your stove 
All right, I wanna thank everyone for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. When you click on that, you're supporting my channel tremendously. So I wanna thank you in advance. And subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아요 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.